Um, it's almost 7 p.m. Um, I woke up not breathing. Um, I'm, I'm still confused. I feel confused. Um, I didn't even know what day it was. Um, my, I'm really having a hard time breathing still. Um, I feel sick in every way possible. My head hurts and I feel confused, which makes me think that I may have not been breathing for a long time. Like prolonged low oxygen and high carbon dioxide. Um, yeah, I decided to, you know, I... Like, there's no option for me to sleep. And feeling so ill, like there's something so wrong with my breathing. And I decided I have to put CPAP, CPAP on. And last night I decided I have to somehow go back on CPAP. And I, I, I bloody well can't. And there's no choice. And it's so painful. Like, I, I, I'm I damned if I do and damned if I don't. I can't do it. I can't do it. And yet I had to put it on. I thought, I'm getting sicker and sicker. And so I put CPAP on. My sinuses are killing me. My teeth are killing me. I'm taking to Tylenol and ibuprofen around the clock. There's no way out. And I thought... I'm going to have a heart attack or a stroke if I don't put this CPAP on. And wouldn't you know it, the cold weather was coming. And I thought, I wonder if my power is going to go out. La I think it was last Christmas I woke up in the power. I woke up not breathing Christmas morning. With the mask on and thinking, oh my God. Why is the house so quiet? Why am I not breathing? Why, you know, like, I mean, it's pretty bad if you can't rely on your power company, like your life threatening, you need your, your CPAP. My chest really hurts. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack or a stroke. My head hurts. Um, it's minus like a thousand out. I've been in the house for days again, again, and I can't take it. I'm I'm getting my clothes on to go for a walk around the block. I'm losing my mind. Can't stand the isolation. How bizarre that I'm actually scared to go outside. This is crazy. This is insane. I feel like I can have a heart attack. I think it's minus 34 Celsius. My sinuses hurt so bad. And in here and stabbing pain in the top of my head from oxygen long-term oxygen deprivation can cause brain damage and organ damage I just feel so messed up I have to get out of here I have to I wish I could go for a car ride once a week wish I could go to No resources, no family, nothing. 
I won't walk to the store. It's too cold. I'm too sick. I'll just go without whatever. So it, it feels like someone's standing on my chest, like, or it feels like I have pneumonia. But you know what? I'm terrified to go to sleep tonight. I'm terrified to get brain damage or I'm terrified the power will go off. And, oh, you know, I mean, you can wind up in a nursing home, right? From extended low oxygen and high carbon dioxide. Um, if my furnace quit, if the furnace broke down because it's too cold, like, I wouldn't survive. If, if, uh, if the power went off tomorrow morning and I was another time uh, with extended low oxygen, I feel like I'm not going to survive or I'm going to end up in a nursing home. How crazy, how crazy that your life could be dependent upon having power in your home. I do not have money for a generator or backup battery or... I haven't been out in, the, in days. I'm so sick. I have no idea when I last took Tylenol and ibuprofen. I have no memory. I have no idea. I don't remember. You know, when you're so sick, you don't remember if you've taken... The isolation, you know, like once a week, I don't even, I don't even see, see someone. Not even, like, I, I can't say once a month I see someone. I can't, I don't see someone, I don't visit once a month with anybody. Like, I don't visit with anybody ever. Not ever. It is so hard. It's so hard to keep going and it's so hard to give up. It's supposed to be cold like this, I think, all all week, all next week. I can't handle this. I'm I'm like trapped. I'm totally trapped. <laughs> 